Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Today we have this beautiful 1966 Chevelle SS Aztec Bronze. It is absolutely gorgeous. True SS car, it's a 138, so that signifies SS. Look at all the chrome, the trim around the, the lights, the grill, everything's in superior condition. At Vanguard, we're non-consignment, so everything we buy is here because we want it here. We don't have to bring it in. So we only look for high-quality vehicles. Looking down the side of this car, all the margins, the paint, everything look awesome. Uh, it's rolling on some Kreger SS's, BF Goodrich radial TAs. Very, very well done. The interior is to match the body color. Look at this. Beautiful interior from front to back. No tears, no cracks. Dash looks awesome. Four speed, 396. Doesn't get better than that, guys. I'm available seven days a week at 248 974 9513. You can call me to help you park this dream in your driveway. We can help you with financing, transportation, the whole nine yards. Let's open up the trunk and see what we got in here. Check this out. The trunk jams, the trunk lips, everything looks superior. Comes with a, a spare tire, jack. Nice solid floor pans in there. Let's take a look down the driver's passenger side of the body now. You get the same high quality luster right down the passenger side as well. You can visit our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can also sub subscribe to our YouTube channel right on our homepage, Facebook, and Instagram. So you can see all our current incoming vehicles before they're marketed. So give me a call today at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales help you park this dream in your driveway. All right, guys, we're gonna take this beautiful 66 SS Chevelle for a ride. What an awesome driving car. 396, four speed, one of my favorite colors, Aztec bronze, love it. Look at how straight this car drives. No hands, baby. Unbelievable driving car. Everything is right and tight on this. When we buy these cars, we bring them in, we go through them. Check out the brakes, the suspension, electrical, gauges, all that stuff. No dealers do that. Make sure everything's right on the car. The only thing we don't fix is the clock, but it looks like this one's working, guys. Don't want to get hit by that guy. She has some pretty good power. It's a 360 horse motor. Absolutely phenomenal. Remember, we're located in the Motor City. Give us a call flying to Detroit Metro Airport. We're only 30 minutes away. Come on out and visit us, show you all our cars, and have some fun. We can help with financing, transportation, the whole nine yards, whatever it takes to help you put your dream in your driveway. It's one of my favorites. 
I was always a, a Chevelle guy growing up. Chevelle, my first car was a Monte Carlo. I kind of like the Chevelle. Nice and tight driving car. It isn't sloppy like a lot of them. All the gauges work. Nice clear lenses. The silver's in really good shape around everything. It isn't all pitted and nasty looking. All right, here's what all happens. We're gonna bring this baby in, get it up on the rack and show you how pristine the underside is. All right guys, we got our numbers matching Chevelle up on the rack. So uh, first thing here I'm gonna point out, brand new fuel tank in it. Another thing I'm gonna point out while I'm back here around the fuel tank is it looks to me like we've got fresh metal all behind the uh, fuel tank up in here, just uh, underneath the frame. Brand new body bushings in it. Uh, factory style exhaust. Um, well, we're next to the exhaust pipes here, I'm gonna point out that the drop downs look like they're nice and crisp. I can see uh, looks like brand new welds, looks like possibly brand new metal as well. Um, not really certain here, but nice crisp lines on it. Looks to be all in really good shape. Once again, body bushings continuing to look new as you move forward. It has the uh, correct type shocks in it. GM 12 bolt rear end. Now, I believe this is the original rear end for the car. Uh, limited slip. Um, now, this thing, judging by the suffix code, which does match the build date of the car and all that stuff, um, the suffix code tells me it's roughly a 3.31 to 1 uh, gear ratio. When they rebuilt it, they may have nursed a 355 in it. When I roll it over, it seems to be more like a 355 than a uh, 331. However, that's a little bit more pickup for you. Uh, drum brakes on either end of it. Uh, looks to be the original style mufflers that would have been on it. Uh, drive shaft looks like it's in excellent shape. Uh, looks like they polished it up. As far as the frame this way goes, looks like it's in beautiful shape. I can see brand new fuel line, brand new brake line over on that side. Floor pans obviously nice and crisp. You can see all of your stampings really, really well. I don't see any pitting or any of that nonsense going on. Once again, all of our spot welds and whatnot look like they're in beautiful shape. Parking brake looks like it is present and it feels as if it is functional. Um, looks like we got a Hearst shifter here, I know that very well. Um, we got a uh, Muncie M20 four-speed uh, manual transmission here, and I believe this is the actually, well it is, the numbers matching Muncie 420 for this car. Um, not only do the date codes all line up, but it actually has a VIN stamp right here, and they only did this on the higher horsepower cars. I can see we got a reverse light switch here, looks like it's all hooked up and functional. Uh, moving forward of all of that. Another cool thing about the, the cars that are restored to original, they even put the canister style oil filter on it, which is just awesome. Uh, brand new brake lines up here as well. Looks like original style exhaust manifolds. Um, this is the underside of our 396. We're going to get to that in just a second. Uh, most of the front end here looks like it's all original, or excuse me, all been redone on the car. It looks like it's in really good shape. Drum brakes on either end of it. Uh, stock style upper and lower control arms. Looks like new shocks. They even put all the paper tags on uh, anything that they could there, which uh, once again just adds credence to this uh, being a little bit nicer than normal uh, restoration. Uh, coming around the side here for wheels and tires, we have two 1560 R15s here in the front, brand new uh, BF Goodrich radial TAs on a set of Krager SS's. And in the back, we have two 5560 R15s back here. And uh, once again, brand new radial TAs, that's a 2021 date code, so these are brand spanking new. So, uh, that all being said, let's go take a look at the numbers matching 396 under the hood. All right guys, here it is, 396. This is the higher horsepower model, the 396, uh, or excuse me, the 360 horsepower 396. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, EF suffix code. Uh, now this particular engine has, it's the numbers matching engine for the car. I've checked all the date codes along with the build date of the car, and it is textbook perfect. Um, the carburetor that's on top of it, I believe to be the original carburetor as well. All the date codes, once again, line up perfectly. It is the correct part number for the vehicle, and it's a, a 4160 model, model Holley vacuum secondaries. Um, as far as the ignition system goes, once again, looks to be all original, like just point style distributor, original type wires on it, original exhaust manifolds, uh, fuel pump looks like it to be original, original front dress on it, GM hoses, uh, manual drum brakes. I mean, it's just as this car was born, and I happen to like them like this uh, quite a bit. The only upgrade here that I do see, a little more modern upgrade, is this battery, and you, you won't notice it unless you take one of these caps off. This is a modern uh, internals but one of the nice uh, replacement batteries where it looks like it's actually an old school case, not just a topper. So uh, that is one big positive of all this thing. So overall, very, very nice car. And it, once again, I did mention underneath, power steering on this one. This one was optioned with power steering. 
But overall, very, very nice car. Once again, textbook perfect numbers matching everything about it. So guys, if you'd like to have this one parked in your driveway, give Tom a call at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this Chevelle in your driveway. We'll see you in the next one.